everyone. Welcome. It is Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen. I am happy to be with you here on this Tuesday evening. We are going to be doing a cottontail farm and feed project. And wait till you see how big this project is. I'm like, am I crazy? I'm crazy. No. But anyway, you guys, I'm so excited to have you come in. As you come on, please say hello. I would love to welcome you. Um, again, my name is Jen. I am a chalk couture designer. And I have been with Chalk Couture for a little over, oh gosh, I don't know why that did that. Hey, Tanya, welcome. I've been with Chalk Couture for almost seven years in November of this year. And I'm sorry about all the comments that went through there. That is, the link in the comments is for the project that I am doing. So um, those are just the items I use. But if you've never heard of Chalk Couture, we are a DIY home decor and crafting company. And you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have these really awesome reusable silk screen stencils. We have our chalk paste, which is water soluble, semi-permanent, goes on as a liquid, dries as a solid. We have our tools that we are gonna need. We have the stencils, we have the surfaces, just about anything you can think of to do your own beautiful DIY home decor. It's awesome, my friends, awesome. So if you've never heard of it, comment in the, make a comment, let me know that say, hey, I'm new. I'm new here. Let me know. But super excited to be here. Let me know what's going on tonight. If you guys got anything going on. I am I actually just started watching, um, what is that, Firefly Lane? I've never watched it. And I just started watching it. And I think we're already on episode six or two. I don't even know. Hey, Gloria. How are you? Welcome, welcome. All right. So let me get my project up here. So this is the massive project we are going to be doing today. This is our beautiful cottontail farm and feed transfer. This project is 18 by 24. And you guys, so you know the frames, hold on, let me put me put myself back up there. You know these frames that are all behind me here, like this one was actually over here. These are all the beautiful Aiden boards that we have at Chalk Couture. And I love these because number one, the quality of these are absolutely amazing. Number two, the chalkboard is a magnetic chalkboard, which is so, so awesome. It's very high end and I absolutely love that. I'm doing okay. Um, lots of things happening over here at the Jones family and my uh, my anxiety levels are absolutely insanely horrible, but, um, my, but my hormones are insanely unreal. My cholesterol is really high, so I'm on a diet and all the good things. But other than that, we're doing good. <laughs> that was a handful. That was a handful. So you guys, this is our back of our transfer. And I like to show this because all the directions right here are right on the back. So it tells you how to peel, prep, fuzz, um, Inspect to make sure everything looks good on your surface. Apply, remove, heat set, and that's only for ink. And then clean these up because you can get anywhere from 8 to 12, sometimes even more uses out of one of these. Okay. So we are going to take this out of our package. I'm going to have to stand to do this one, y'all. I am going to have to stand. So yeah, I just started watching Firefly Lane. When I, I started it a long time ago when it came out. And I, it, for whatever reason, it just didn't grab my interest. And then I don't know what made me go back and watch it. And now I'm, now I'm hooked. It's like super crazy, but Netflix does that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is write on the back of your carrier sheet. Uh, because once your transfer is done and dry, you can put it right back on this carrier sheet and you are going to be able to reuse it again for another project. Like seriously, you could totally like just do the bunnies on a t-shirt. I think that would be like super cute. You don't have to do the whole transfer. You can like pick little sections and I just think that would be so adorable on a t-shirt. All right. So because this is a bigger transfer, oops, I'm going to run my finger over the edge. That's how I always do it but I am totally flipping this over so that I can remove the carrier sheet from the transfer or, or stencil, however you want to call it, because I don't want to stretch anything. Okay. So this is big. I'm standing up. Y'all got to stand. It's huge. Okay. There we go. We got that on there. Now what I want to do is something we call fuzzing it up. Okay. 
So I'm taking our fuzz in our fuzzing cloth. If you don't have one of these and like you have a nice um, sort of like a Microsoft towel. Uh oh, hold on, y'all. Oops, hold on, because I got some fuzzies on my towel. See, this is oops. What you don't want is your fuzzies. Uh, whoops, I got fuzzies on my towel. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I put this thing in the washer and cleaned it up. Oh no, this isn't the right towel. Shoot, that was the wrong towel. Wrong towel, wrong towel. Oh, hex bells. Okay, let me get these off here. I'm just gonna use my detail tool. That one I don't care about. This one I do, because it's in the silk screen. It's out of the way, out of the way. Just getting these off of there. I hate fuzzies. Oh my gosh, I did a workshop one time and um, I always used to tell people because we didn't have a lot of fuzzing cloths that you could put it on your shirt and she had on this sweater and the sweater thing got completely all over the back of the, of the, of the stencil. It was crazy. All right, so I'm just gonna apply this a couple times. And all this does is so that it's easier to remove when you're using it on a harder surface, okay? So like chalkboard, um, glass is another one. I highly recommend fuzzing it. If you do it on a cloth surface, you don't have to do that, okay? So we're just gonna fuzz this up. This is the boring part, you guys. Boring. All right, so now I'm gonna flip this over and then I'm gonna place it right where I want it on my silk screen or on my surface. Now, here's the thing. If you have to, and you need to reposition it, reposition it, you absolutely can. Okay. This is going to be gorgeous. How this is going to be gorgeous. Like above a fireplace y'all. So gorgeous. And then I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to rub it over to make sure I don't have those air bubbles. You see them. I don't want any air bubbles in my silk screen area. So my detail tool back up over here so that I can just kind of like there we go sometimes you got to pull it back up and press it back down it's totally fine we might have a little bit of a spot on there where the fuzzies are but that's okay I'm not gonna worry about it this is our um, handheld squeegee this is going to be awesome for this project because we're only going to be using one color for this. Okay. So I'm just making sure I don't have any air bubbles in there. Okay. Easy peasy breezy so far. Anybody can do this. I swear. Anybody can do this. All right. Now I'm going to get my paste. Hey guys, as you come on, say hello to us. We would love, love, love to welcome you on here. I'm just going to get my sw small squeegee. And I am going to put a good bit of paste on here because we're doing the whole thing in white. I think it'll be super, super like farmhouse style or contemporary, really, because of the chalkboard. And then I'm going to take my big handheld squeegee, you guys, and literally just scrape it across the silk screen area. And what I love about this squeegee is it does it so much faster. <laughs> so much faster on these big projects when you just do one color. You could do multiple, um, but for this one, I'm just doing one tonight. Absolutely. And it doesn't matter if you go up or down, left or right. You just want to make sure you're applying pressure and getting it in the silk screen. The silk screen does the work for you. No weeding involved either, my friends. No weeding. So anyway, back to Firefly. Let's talk about it real quick. So I'm on the episode where um, I think it's her dad has passed away, but everybody wants you to think like at first we thought it was Tully and then we thought it um, was Tully's mom, but then Tully showed up and then we thought it was her husband because he got blew up in our Iraq, you know, and I was kind of like, oh my gosh, what is happening? So that's where we are at. Have you watched it? I'm just making sure I got everything covered, y'all. I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good. All right. 
Now I'm going to scrape off my excess and put it back in the jar because we don't want to waste. Okay. I don't want to waste, but I do need to get this off here. The chalk paste does dry a little quick. So you want to make sure you get it off before it starts to dry in your silk screen. Okay. So this, because it's so big, I want to make sure I take corner to corner when I pull. You guys, holy, look at that. Look at that. This is my favorite, favorite part. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at that. And guess what? All that detail and absolutely no weeding. No weeding. Okay, you guys, hold on one second. Let me go put this in here. Hold on one second, my friends. One second. Wash my hands. Woo, look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Do you see how awesome that looks? Look at the detail. Oh my gosh. Please tell me you're giving me some hearts, some thumbs up, and all the goodness because that is absolutely stunning. Now, I can use my heat tool or a hair dryer, and I could totally sit there. Isn't it, Tonya? It is so, so gorgeous. Um, I would probably use my heat tool or hair dryer to dry this quicker than letting it sit. Um, but you guys, look at the detail in that. Do you see him? And there's no weeding. And once this is done, I'll be able to touch it and feel it, and it's not going to come off. Um, do I have anything right here handy? So I just kind of want to show you. Let me grab. Here we go. I'm going to grab this gonna grab this so once this is dry you are able to touch it and feel it and it's not going to come off but if i ever choose to remove this to maybe change it out for a different holiday a different season all i'm going to do is use water apply water let it sit for a few minutes and then i will wipe it off my friends oh my gosh how gorgeous is this look at this you guys Oh, that's so big. Oy, oy, oy. Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that. Oh. All right, you guys, if you have any questions about Chaka Tour, um, please feel free to reach out to me or put your questions in the comments. Like I said, if you love this project and you think you want to get it, the link is in the bio or in the comments here as well. Um, I thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I hope you enjoyed this really gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous project. All right, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Talk with you later. Bye.